I'm here at the beautiful Sandwich Arts Alliance in the beautiful antique Sandwich Town Hall. Woohoo! They live here now. It's wonderful. So come along. Let's have another Cape Conversations. Hi everybody, I'm Melinda Gallant and I want to welcome you here in this beautiful space and I am sitting with the Sandwich Arts Alliance President, Kathy Oban. Kathy, welcome to Cape Conversation. Thank you so much. And wait a minute, you should be welcoming me because I'm in your space. That's true. <laughs> You're in our beautiful new space. Oh my gosh, it is great. So I know this was really easy to put together. It looks like, I mean, it's so beautiful and so well done. I mean, all the spaces in here are wonderful. The gift shop is gorgeous. So it was so easy to do, right? It actually was <laughs> relatively easy to do. And I've had that conversation with myself for a while <laughs> because what happened was um, we packed up our old space. Right, on 6A. On Route 6A yeah. in Sandwich, right in, uh, coming into town. We closed our business and we packed up on August 24th. Oh my gosh. And we said we're going to take a week or so to pull ourselves together. Uh -huh. We packed up, we moved here, and we were here open to the public on September 5th. Wow. Right after Labor Day weekend. We decided not to get into the Labor Day weekend craziness, but uh, we started here on September 5th. So we literally have been here a month. Oh, that's wonderful. And I cannot tell you how proud we are of everyone, all of our volunteers, mm -hmm. all of our staff people. Our, each one of our entities actually took a role. So the visual arts people were responsible for the gallery space. Mm -hmm. uh, Joan, who runs our gift shop, was responsible for mm -hmm. the gift shop area. We needed to set up our classroom. Mm -hmm. So... All of those folks put together their teams and they did the build out and it happened really very quickly. And everyone who has come into the space, particularly the folks who love this building, uh -huh. love what we've done here. Oh, that's it's wonderful. Gorgeous. It's well, gorgeous. It, would you say you're, it's a community collaboration? It is absolutely because now we are right in the center, right in the heart of the Glastown Cultural District. And we, we cannot overstate the value of that, not only to our organization, Sandwich Arts Alliance. We're eight years old. Okay, we're eight years old. We are literally run by volunteers, a couple of paid staff, and a lot. And the effort that has gone into building our organization and to uh, helping our artists be more successful in their business. We are right here and we're working together with the entities that are right here in the, in the district. Well, the cultural district is, um, I mean, it's very special because there are very few across the country, first of all. Exactly. And they're designated because of their historic significance and their cultural attachment to the community they're in. So, right. I mean, that's, a, I mean, that alone to be here, all of a sudden you're, you're noticed. I know you were on 6A for a long time and, and I am, to be honest, the part of all of this, yeah. but being on 6A, everybody goes, oh, you're on 6A. Yeah, not so good. <laughs> I mean, great. However, it isn't, not for like this. This is a, this is very special. This has, that, this has the feeling of, of, um, welcoming community in yes. um there's no you can walk to it if you park if you park at the daniel webster have lunch you can walk down and, and come go through the gallery um if you have lunch across the street you can go to the gallery you can go here and you go across the street to the Ga glass museum you can walk up the street to heritage exactly. museums and guards i mean it is all unbelievably wonderful it is unbelievably wonderful to actually be in this building mm -hmm. which has been revered and protected by generations of families throughout since 1860. <laughs> 1860, we are in the building and we're sharing it with the town of Sandwich. This building now, uh, their, their um, 
they're working upstairs, we're working downstairs, right. we're sharing the building, mm -hmm. and we're working together. And that is something that you cannot overstate that gift. No, it's wonderful. Literally, we're shoulder to shoulder saying, how can we bring economic development to the district? Right. But we're all working together. Well, and the town was really smart. The town fathers. Oh, my God, I'm saying the town fathers are really smart. <laughs> Am I going to be struck by lightning? No, uh, they, are, they were really smart. And this is why they were really smart. They were really smart because they realized they couldn't have the buildings sitting empty. Although the seat of government is still upstairs. It's, it's here. And they have their selectmen meeting and... Um, the, the school committee meetings up there and other media, historic meetings up there, um, it is still used a lot. However, the downstairs was not going to be used. And this is what it originally was. Well, it wasn't a cultural center, but it was originally little shops and little stalls. They called them stalls back stalls. then, yes. you know. And so, you know, they were selling their wares, you know, dried meats and, you know, woven right things right, right here. here. So it's a wonderful long tradition being extended now even longer. And it's a one, it's just, I just think it's so wonderful for you guys. That's for sure. Every single day that we walk into this building, we literally say to ourselves, we cannot believe that we're here. Really, that's, that's what we say to ourselves. And we have uh, such, a, such a respect and a sense of honor that somehow the everything became aligned and mm -hmm. we got picked which is for for the sandwich arts alliance eight years old it's a really big deal it's a really big deal and we are very grateful to be here well and here's the thing um the cultural district which has its own thing they're going to be doing lights downtown here yes uh and they're getting new banners um we're going to actually kind of be moving in to me, it's like we're moving into the, the millennium now. I mean, we did things like first night here and things like that in Sandwich. And, and it was a wonderful thing, but not all things last forever. Right. Uh, but some of the things that you're doing, the Cultural District is doing, the Glass Museum is doing, yes. is going to live in perpetuity. It's going to be here forever. Right. for other generations to see. And that's what's so exciting to me is just... It is exciting because now it really is becoming a cultural district as it relates to people coming into the town. So if you think about the, the beautiful lighting system and the trees that was just proposed by the yep. town, um, and I know there's some work going on with new banners yep. Yep. that will... Um, and you're going to have banners. We're going to have banners. Well, we're working on that. Um, <laughs> We're working on the banners. Nothing is ever that easy. <laughs> Never, nothing is ever that easy. But what we're hoping for is that we will be able to have two identical long banners mm -hmm. on either side of the columns. And nice. those would be about 48 by 90. They would have our logo and also what it is we do. Yeah. And that we would put those up for specific special events oh nice and the reason that's important is that we are having our grand opening and our ribbon cutting oh yeah the end of this month and we have um we have state senator um susan moran oh my gosh we have um she's great she's great we have uh our rep Stephen Xaros will be here. oh wonderful so and also, MCC will be sending their, their deputy executive director oh, wonderful. to celebrate. And again, it's a collaboration between um, historic preservation and cultural arts. So uh, the fact that that's happening here on the last Friday of October, we'd really like to have those banners hung. I did appear before the select board last week. Uh -huh. They were more than gracious to give us some guidance and advice. Sure. So... We're hoping that that will occur and that we will be able to hang the banners and occasionally take them down after a specific event and then use them for other high-profile events. Is there a sign out front yet that's a Sandwich Arts Alliance? No. There is not a sign yet. There We have our open sign. We have a beautiful um, antique gold 
frame that has our branding on it that we will be attaching to the front of the building. Oh, nice. That will be, that will happen before the grand opening. Mm -hmm. So we're working on making sure that everything looks really nice for the folks that are coming oh, nice. to celebrate. So we're looking, we'll be open. The whole building will be open uh, for our open house one to four on Friday, the 27th. And we expect to have, um, Several hundred people here. And so oh, that's wonderful. What, what's been accomplished. That's great. Yeah. So tell me, we are sitting right now in the gallery. We are. And there's yeah. a gallery all the way down the hallway, which is wonderful. Yes. It's so pretty. Yes. Um, so you, the Arts Alliance represents not only people who paint, but other entities as well. Because I know you, we have a group of musicians, we have people, we have authors. Uh, I'm looking around here and you can see the books right here behind us. Right. Um, so you represent a lot of people in the arts. We, uh, we represent any artist who wants to showcase their work. And that is visual arts. We have a group of folks that, that work with our visual artists, which is the gallery space. Uh, we represent performing arts. Mm -hmm. We've really ramped up our performing arts program thanks to a few. <laughs> yes, I put guns out. to people's heads. <laughs> for this, but other than that, so we have really ramped up our performing arts program, and we've had a very successful year with it. And that is because we've we've been able to engage some folks who come from all over the Cape Valley, yeah. Yeah. who really want to perform. And part of the vision behind building that program was the idea that we wanted to make Sandwich a destination for the performing arts. Sure. You know, lots of folk places on the Cape. Yeah. But we wanted that talent to be coming here. Right. So uh, well, that it, program has really taken off. What, you know, what's interesting, and, and anybody who knows me that knows that I have a lot to do with Yes. wanting to do performing arts here because community theater is my personal love and the reason why i like community theater is because you can see the person who work, works at woods hole in a play right. and the lawyer being the director and a person who's running some you know some other company and a mom who works in a coffee shop right you can see them all on stage together and you know what they love being up there yes they do they, they do they, they absolutely do because it's a, it's a chance for them to expand their creative talent when right. normally you're you're doing whatever it is you do in life right right right. So it, right it's really fun for the whole community and and what's interesting is and we have a play coming up and i've had nothing to do with the direction of it thank you lord yes. um uh it's directed by a wonderful gentleman by the name of james ring and uh, with three terrific actors, and it's Agnes of God, which is a dark play, but a play about what about women in the 80s, and and also about religion in the 80s and psychiatry in the 80s. And it's it everybody goes, oh my gosh, it's so heavy. I said, well, you know what? It's interesting if you look at it, right. you know, that way. Um, yeah, it's it is kind of sad. However. That said, you also learn about a lot about at that time. And, um, you know, you, you learn for the future by looking at your past. Boom, boom. So it's, it's uh, good. I'm so excited, though. It's going to go up. and it's, I know. They're rehearsing it's now very hard. So. And it's a full run play over two yeah. weekends. Yep. Yeah. So we have some astounding actors. We have um, Janet Guys Moore. Oh, wow, who's local. Who's just, unbelievable. I know. And But you, th these are folks who... They, they just so have so much intrinsic talent and they yeah. have to perform. Yeah, they do. And when I think about the amount of work that goes into uh, a full run play, mm -hmm. which I was not exposed to before <laughs> we started doing Well, we this. just finished one. Oh my September. goodness. You just think of the amount of time and energy yeah. that goes into yeah, August, I guess. Yeah, obviously, yes. And it's, it's sustaining. Yeah. It really is yeah. a big commitment. Yeah, it is. For them, it, it certainly yes. is. It's, it's all that. For our authors, of course, what we did was we said we want to showcase our authors and we would love for everyone to get equal billing because if you're trying to merchandise yourself, what you really care about is like, is my book front and center so people <laughs> see it when they come in? 
So, Gee, so there are authors that are like that. I did not know. <laughs> right. That. So what we did was we and Jimmy Ellis did this beautiful work. Yes, he did. Um, it's beautiful. So um, these bookshelves were built. We have everyone equal billing um, inventory underneath where the the book is is shown. And I like that it is integrated with the gallery because it shows that we all work together. We all have multiple talents, right? Right. And we care a lot about everyone being able to show their work. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Well, I will say this. I always said in Sandwich, the best gift shop was the Glass Museum's gift shop. Yes. They, it it is gorgeous. gorgeous. It, it is, is gorgeous. gorgeous. Well, I mean, it's all glass and it's all, you know. know. How could it not be? How can it be gorgeous? So bright, the colors and all. Yeah. However, you guys are giving them a run for their money, I you think. Like it. I, I think it's like beautiful. It. it is. I've already bought a pumpkin there, a little tiny <laughs> pumpkin. So. so, yes. And you know what is astounding about the space? Think about it. The high ceilings, the the beautiful windows. Oh. It's so well lit for natural sunlight. Yep. Same thing with our classroom. Yeah. That it, everything pops. Yeah. It just pops. It does. Beautiful. You're absolutely yeah. right. It's really beautiful. And you know what's amazing is, how many members do you, do you have we now? We have about 375, I'm yeah. thinking, at this point. And there's some in Sandwich and some outside of Sandwich. They're all over. Yeah. We, we actually have artists that submit work their work to shows that are all over the country yeah so obviously we have a reputation now. yeah so which is great you know, yeah is great. yeah and you're the second president correct the first president was joanne so westerhouse i'm number three. Oh, number three okay right so we have actually i'm number four. Oh. Uh, so we had joanne as the founder right how she wrangled <laughs> the i don't know either yes is really something Yep. You know, yep. She just had that incredible gift of a concept and figuring out how to get the right people. Well, wow. and she just right. went at it like a she dog with a bone. She poured her <laughs> heart and soul into it. And yeah. If it weren't for, for Joanne, we would not be here. There's right. No That's question. absolutely not, true. No question. Um, so then um, we had Kathy Odian for a year. Oh, I didn't she realize that. For oh a year, my gosh, I didn't sort of know through that. a transition. Uh, yeah, a number of members of the board were doing other things, coming in. We were trying to bring some high-profile people in. Mm -hmm. And Kathy, when I first became involved in the organization, Kathy was the president. Oh my gosh! And she did a great, great job. And then, of course, we had the pandemic. Uh, right. I mean, I have thought. But about you're still this going. So, That's what's amazing. I, I have thought about this so much. Yeah. Literally, we're in our little shop in 6A. I, I talked with the owner's wife yesterday about our space. We're kind of finishing up a few things. And I told her that building was very important in, in their family. They had had right. a building in their family for 60 years. And I told her, if it wasn't for you, we would not have made it through the pandemic. Right. We wouldn't have made it. We had no revenue. Right. We were shut down. Right. And I remember specifically that we received a grant from the, the Fund for Sandwich. And the grant was so that we could put up an online store. That literally saved us. Sure, sure. We wouldn't have made it. No, we would not have made it because right. everybody had to go online. Right. So, th so you think about the the folks who have always cared about what it is mm -hmm. we're doing, and have always said we can help you get to the next level. Sure. And that's why we're here. I that's you think that's a wonderful. It. Yeah, it's wonderful. Now, now, who was after Kathy Odie? Was it Diane Sharp? Diane Sharp. She Diane Diane helped us, um, and the poor I. I really honestly felt for her because imagine <laughs> being a president during the pandemic. No, I mean, no. It's like you're figuring out what kind of wipes you're going to buy. I mean, it's pretty <laughs> tough. You know, it's not, not a fun job. Not a fun <laughs> job. Not a fun no. Job. But she got us through that. Yeah. So, yeah. And then you came in yeah, after came in after that. It's yeah. wonderful. That's yeah. wonderful. And now you also have an advisory board. Is that correct? We do have a fabulous advisory board. And these are... <clears throat> they're town leaders. Any yeah. any person I told, I mentioned their name, you would know. These are substantial people in the community. And 
the reason that I brought them together mm -hmm. is that we were in a situation where we said, we have to figure out building and facilities. Uh -huh. So I said, who can we pull together a, a short list mm -hmm. of people that care about this community that could help us with building and facilities? So it was really kind of a very short mission. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, I don't have the expertise. I'm not a contractor. I don't know where we're going to look for space, but we yeah. needed people to help us. Right. So that was how we sort of pulled together the advisory board. And literally we had two meetings. Wow. Okay. And they said, you need to be in this building. And that, right. and that was it. That was it. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> we're here. We're moving in. <laughs> moving in. But, but it does show you that if, if, um, if people understand your mission and what you care about, and sure. they care about collaboration. Yeah. Think yeah. about all of it. We're all writing together right. for this now. Right. It's not just one organization. Well, it's funny because I was in here uh, for Porch Fest, yeah. and the biggest question, uh, I was talking to one of the gals who work in the gift shop, and she said the biggest question they have during the week is, can I pay my water bill or my tax bill or whatever? Because they think <laughs> so it's still true. here. Hello, people. It's, it's so true. We do get those <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I will say this, though. On um, last weekend, it was a Sunday, and it was that gorgeous Sunday. We had the rainy day. Yeah. And we were here having a rehearsal. If that door wasn't sh shaken 50, 60 times, and I thought, oh, in here. they want to come in. Oh, right. is the, and I, I, in the beginning, I was opening the door. I finally stopped. I would go, duh, don't do that. Um, because they wanted to come to the gift shop. And I thought, if we could only be open on Sundays, but, you know, you have to have two days off. You got to give right. your people two or days off, one. or at least one. <laughs> Maybe next time. But anyway, it was really kind of amazing. So, so Kathy, I just want to thank you for talking with me today. Oh, my it was goodness, wonderful. I'm so happy you came in. Yeah, I'm, me I'm, too. I know you spend a fair amount of time here anyway. Yeah, yeah. But the fact that you came here to... Um, bring your crew and talk about what it is we're doing and the, the path that we've taken and how much help we've had along the way. Well, the community it's, needs to the know. The community needs to know. Yep. This, this happened because we all worked together. You know what I found out? Yeah. There's something more in life than pickleball. You, you did? Yes. So I did. really, did I know pickleball is a big deal. <laughs> I know it. Gosh, don't send a letter to me about pickleball. It's wonderful. I just want to point out, though, there's wonderful things like looking at beautiful paintings, buying beautiful paintings, yeah. reading great books, coming into a gift shop, volunteering right. here. Volunteering. We can always use volunteers. Always so Porch Fest is this, excuse me, uh, Sandwich Fest is this weekend. Right, right. It will be raining. Yeah, or if it rains all the time. So there. anybody that wants to help us in the rain, that's always fun. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So yeah. we'll be there. We'll Excellent. Be there the Excellent. Place. Thank you again. Thank you. Melinda, thank Good you. Good to see you. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. president of the Sandwich Arts Alliance. So we've had a great day here looking at the new building they're in, the Sandwich Town Hall on Main Street in Sandwich. So I'll catch you next time on another Cape Conversations.